Hello guys, the Ebor is on at York tomorrow Saturday the 20th of August. The Ebor is one of my favorite staying handicaps of the year. We had Sunny Boy Liston last year. We are hoping to repeat the process this year with some luck in running. The first race we target is the Sky Bet Melrose Handicap at 225. This race has a host of unexposed three-year-olds, which can be difficult to navigate generally, with that said sometimes value can scream up off the page at you. Joseph O'Brien has a very interesting type newsroot for connections that like to have winners in the UK. This horse has some really good form and won with something up his sleeve last time out. With a strong pace likely here, this will suit this strong travelling type. Newsroot is our one point each way with bet 3, 65 offering generous odds of 12 to 1. The Sky Bet Ebor handicap takes place at 335. These big handicaps you need plenty of luck in running, so we sometimes like to throw two darts. Earl of Tyrone is all the rage in the market, we are a big fan of him and have backed him for some of his wins. He likes to race up on the pace. He has a touch of class and in an ideal world I would love to see him settled mid-division for a race like the Ebor. He is our one-point win selection at odds of 5-1 to one with bet 3, 65. Another horse that I am really fond of and had backed last time out was Candleford who like Earl of Tyrone is probably a stakes or group winner in waiting. This horse smashed a good field at Ascot after being off for over 200 days. He won too well that day and was hiked 13 pound. If he is a future group performer like I think he is, then he should be fighting out the finish. Candleford is our one point each way bet at 12 to 1 with Betfair paying 7 places. We like one horse in Ireland tomorrow. 320 race at Killarney sees Mars Harper run in the Faultia Hotel, Bar, Restaurant Handicap Hurdle. This horse ran fine third in Boyle Sports Handicap Hurdle at Galway under Dennis Oregon. He was has been well fancied for a couple of decent handicaps last term. He should be fighting out the finish here today. Mars Harper is a one-point win at odds of 8-1. to one. That's a wrap, happy hunting guys. P.S. Who else is looking forward to the big heavyweight fight tomorrow night between Joshua and Usyk?